Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. I've been selling on eBay since 1999 and Poshmark since 2016 with a gap in between. So um, I'm going to do, every Monday I usually do a wrap with me video to discuss the things that I've sold and um, it's just too much to do it every day. That said, I had a Friday and Saturday no sales day, which I thought was interesting because normally um, being a full-time reseller, you make at least one sale each day. But for some reason, Friday and Saturday I had no sales. I was getting concerned. But then Sunday, um, yesterday, I had 12 sales. So I don't know. Keeping in mind that only one was on eBay and 11 was on Posh. So I'm not sure if anyone else is experiencing that. Comment below and let me know. So I'm just going to let you, I'm going to show you what I sold, what people bought and how much. And yeah, so let's just know particular order. Let's just start with the things I don't like to wrap as much as other things. And that's shoes because they take a little bit more care. So they are a little more con time consuming. So the first thing I sold, again, in no particular order, are these platform yellow Crocs. And they sold for their size nine. I don't know if that's a very good size or not. I've been sitting on them for about three months. And they sold for $53. And I profited. I'm just going to wrap while I talk. Um, they sold for $53 on Poshmark. And I profited $40. So that was that. And I wrapped each shoe. Even though shoes aren't breakable, it's just nice to wrap them. And um, I'm using Adkin boxes, but I use, also use Priority Mail boxes. Actually, I'm not even sure if these are going to fit in here. Nope, that's not going to fit, so I'm going to take care of that after. Again, $53, and I profited $40. So keeping along with the shoes. Okay, here we go. These are a size 8. They're the New Balance Women's 940s. Very gently used condition. Priority mailbox. And they sold for $55. And I profited $44. They are going to Iowa. If there are any other resellers watching me, comment below so I could check out your content if you are a YouTuber or your eBay and Poshmark closet, if you are just a seller. Um, I imagine this would be very boring if you were not a reseller, but if I do have any any people watching that are, um, you know, just going through and watching, can you comment below too? And let me know so I know who is, who are my watchers and lurkers and all that stuff. All right, so they're sneakers and they fit just perfectly in the box. I'm gonna bubble wrap them. And I usually add a couple stickers. I buy stickers on AliExpress. You have what it takes and this must be the place. Those are very cute. And then also a thank you sticker goes in. All right, so stick those in with a thank you sticker. And seal her up. All right eBay tape. When you have an eBay store, they do allow you um, quarter, quarterly. eBay allows you to, to um, purchase, purchase the tapes and anything with eBay merch. And I think they give me a $50 voucher each four times a year. And, um, and it just covers, actually it almost covers. It doesn't exactly cover. You're still spending about $10, I believe. But you get like a 12 pack of tape. Okay, um, let's see. Next is three, a three-pair bundle. These I originally bought for myself, but they were too big. They're just, uh, let's see, Shade and Shore. Yeah, they're just Shade and Shore flip-flops. And there are three pairs. Let's give, your, give her some stickers. They're three pairs, and I sold them for... $20 for all pair, all three pairs. That is what I purchased them for. And I bought them secondhand and I never wore them because they were too big. And so those sold for 20 and I, I didn't profit 16 because I, that's how much I actually paid. But, uh, for the sake of this video, it would have been profited 16 and those sold on posh. I bought them on posh 
and hopefully they are going to work for the next person. All right. So those are going to Marilyn. All right. And most people use a Dymo and I have one, I just don't use it. Um, so I do it the old fashioned way. I print them out because it's just easier for me right now. And then I use these little free little stickers that um, you get from the post office for free. Okay, two down, all right. Next I have a cut loose which I think I will insert a picture on one of the sides of this cut loose leg and look size medium. The cut loose used to do better than it does now. It still sells, but not for as much. And I've had it for maybe, I think four or five months. It was a size medium. That's probably why if it was an XL, it probably would have um, sold by now. So I took an offer of $40 and I profited 32 and it's going to New Mexico. Um, I do use Posher VA, which is a subscription service by the month. And um, I will link that below in my description if you wanna sign up. They, it's a virtual assistant and um, they send out offers after 30 minutes of someone liking it. So it's a time saver for you if you are a reseller. Okay, so next is a jumper, a denim jumper, and I will again insert a picture. And I think this was my only eBay sale, and sold it for thirty-five. Profited twenty-nine. I don't remember buying this, so I think I've had it for a while. So, and she's going to California. I hope that she likes it. This was a lady I had to go back and forth with on eBay because she wanted a bunch more measurements than I had listed. Normally for my listings, I put the length of the garment and the bust, but every now and again, you will get someone asking for like a shoulder to shoulder me measurement or a, or a hip measurement, hem measurement and what have you. Okay, next was a very good sale. I've only had it for about a month, I would say, and it is a purple, oops, a purple sequence blouse in size 1X. All right, put that sticker back. Um, and someone came and offered me $51, which I accepted, and I profited $40.80. So I do love picking up sequins. A lot of people don't because it's very fragile. This was new with tags, but a lot of times when you buy them, um, they have loose speed sequence and what have you. And they were very popular in the eighties and they do sell better around the holidays. That's New Mexico. All right, so next I have this little green loft cardigan, which again, I will insert a picture on the sides and it is an XL and I picked it up in January. In fact, I, they're by Loft, and there was like six of them in all different colors. My, intu my intuition told me not to pick them up, but whenever there's like a bunch in all different colors, I have no idea, but I'm, my mind doesn't let me. My mind's like, no, you have to buy them all. Somebody needs them all. So I, I think, I feel like if something's the same size and all in different colors, maybe one person would bundle them all and purchase all of them, but that is never the case, but I'm just not learning. Again, it probably retailed for maybe 72. I sold it for 25, which was full asking price, and I profited 20. And I think I still have a pink and a black and a brown one. I mean, they are selling, but you know, I probably shouldn't pick it up again. And that little cardigan is going to Jupiter, Florida. All right, so let's see. This is a Soma 34G bra, and it sold for 22. The Soma bras are the most popular bras right now. Used to be Victoria's Secret, and now it is Soma. 34G sold for 22, profited 15.58. Going to Colorado. 
All right. And again, I usually don't pick up small brand, um, small bra sizes around like 34, 36. But with Soma, it's the exception to the rule because they usually sell. Okay, done with that. <clears throat> All right, so now, to the best of my knowledge, I still have those Crocs that I need to handle with off camera. And I have four jewelry sales. Okay, so these I will be able to show you. This is a pack of three. Some pink ones, some black coupes, and little silver. And I just put them cute in a little bag like this. And I use one of these VHS vintage boxes from the post office, which they still, I'm not sure what they're used for, but I use them for jewelry. Back in the day, it was VHS. So again, I fold it nicely and I put it in with some paper in there. All right. So with my jewelry, I only sell jewelry on Poshmark and it is um, just costume, vintage costume jewelry for the most part. And it's um, buy one, get one free. So my jewelry is buy one, get one free. And if it's $30 and under, because the majority of my jewelry is 15 to $20. But she put, she um, bundled three pieces and they were 15 each. And she, I think she offered me 20 and I counted her 25 since it was three pieces. Um, and she accepted it. And these three pairs of earrings are going to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. All right. Next, bad allergies, folks. I'm not sick. Um, all right. These were one pair, individual pair. Now, she didn't want to partake in the sale, but I would get one free. So these little shell earrings I had listed for 15 And she offered me... 12 or no she didn't offer me 12 my pressure va offered her 12 and um when that happens i will message the person and ask hey you know my jewelry is buy one get one free you know if you want to decline the 12 dollar offer you can pay full price of 15 and choose another pair for free which she did not want to do and that's perfectly fine so that being said i took the 12 dollar offer which i don't always do but i did and I profited $9 going to Massachusetts, Marshfield, Massachusetts. $12 for one pair of costume jewelry. I pay for most of my jewelry, five to 10 cents. So again, $9 off, I mean $9 for something I paid pennies is fine. Okay, so next is another pair of earrings. And she paid 15 because she did partake in the buy one, get one free. And so I uh, profited 12, oops, one pair. Better put the other ones so they are falling off. And I put them on these little brown cards from Amazon. I could um, link them below, these little brown cards. They just look really cute on there. And they are the size of a business card. So um, I try to take the picture on these brown cards because I do not measure I don't take measurements of my jewelry since I sell it so cheap and I have, I don't know, maybe 5,000 pieces up. I'm not going to go through the trouble. If, if I had to go through the trouble, I would have to raise the prices because time. Okay, so those sold for 15 Buy one, get one free. And I profited $12, $6 a pair. And then keeping in mind that, um, that I only sell maybe $0.05 cents because I buy them in bulk. Okay, they are going to Buffalo, New York. Nice, well-rounded states that I'm selling to. Don't think I had any Texas yet, which normally half of my sales go to Texas. So, and then I have one more jewelry sale, which is a pair, or no, not a pair. I have one more jewelry sale, which is an, a beaded necklace, which I'm gonna show you. Very Golden Girls-ish. Put some stickers, a little thank you. And going to Colorado, I took a, looks like a $13 offer, profited eight. Okay, not sure, but that's what I wrote for that one necklace. Okay, and, and there it goes. And seal her up and I tape these 
these little boxes are great for selling jewelry. But that said, I think just because they're old, I've had them a while. But I think you could still get them. Yes, in fact, you can still get them, but they always need a little more reinforcing. And that's where a piece of clear or eBay tape comes in. Because the last thing you want to happen is them get the box and it's wide open without the item inside. Okay, so that is the 11 or 12, 12 sale. I still need to handle with these Crocs, which I'm not sure what box, but I will figure it out. So that were that was my 12 sales and kept this at 15 minutes. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next Monday. Bye-bye.